Here we're going to work through problem 7.2 of elementary principles of chemical processes. So in this problem, we have jets of high-speed steam that are used for cleaning. So steam at 15 bar and then 150 degrees of superheat is fed to a well-insulated valve at a rate of 1.0 kilograms per second. So we have 1.0 kilograms per second of steam. It's fed to a well-insulated valve. What this tells us is that Q is equal to zero. And we're told that that 15 bar and then 150 degrees of superheat. I don't necessarily like that terminology, but what that means is that it's at 150 degrees above the saturated temperature. So if we go to the steam tables, or table B6, that has it referenced versus pressure, and we go down and look at 15 bars, we'll see that the saturated temperature is about 198.3. So I'll just round that up to 200 for this problem. So 150 degrees of superheat would be 350 degrees, approximately 350 degrees C. All right, um, as the steam passes through the valve, its pressure drops to one bar. So now coming out, we have one bar. And the outlet stream may be, may be totally vapor or a mixture of vapor and liquid. And then kinetic and potential energy changes can be neglected. So we're told um, changes in kinetic energy and changes in potential energy are approximately equal to zero for this problem, so we can neglect those. Um, so we don't necessarily know what's coming out of this process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just call this M1 kilograms of steam per second, and then call this M2 kilograms of water per second, right? And then we know that M1 plus M2 is gonna equal one. Um, okay, so we need to go ahead and um, draw and label our process. So I think we have about everything here. So we have the steam coming out, the water coming out, possibly um, steam coming in. We know the conditions. So we can go ahead and put our energy balance together. We know delta H um, plus delta EK plus delta EP. Those terms are gonna be zero equals Q plus shaft work. So we're told it's adiabatic or well insulated, so Q is zero. Um, there's no moving parts in this system, so we can set this equal to zero. So our energy balance is gonna look like delta H equals zero. All right, so in other words, the total enthalpy of what comes out minus the total enthalpy of what enters is gonna be equal to zero, or we can set H out equals to H in. So now next we can go to the steam tables. If we go to table B5, or no, 15 bar, so this is superheated, so what do I wanna call this? I'm gonna call this yeah, H zero. So if we go to the superheated steam tables, which is table B7, we can look up the values for 15 bars and 350 degrees C, and we'll see that's 3149 kilojoules per kilogram. And then also I'm going to need the enthalpy of the steam and the enthalpy of the water at one bar. And so to find these, I can go either to table B7, which will have the saturated steam values for the vapor and the liquid, or I can go to table B6, which has the uh, saturated values referenced to pressure, or we could probably even go to table B5 also. And if we look at the temperature, because this is at one bar, we know from the saturated steam tables that the temperature of this stream is, I think it's 99.6 degrees C somewhere somewhere around there. So let's get these values. And since we're at table B7 in the, in the steam tables, what we'll do is just pull those off that table. So from that table, let's see, those values would be 417.5 for the water, kilojoules per kilogram. And then for the vapor, we can see that it's 2675.4 kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so now I have the, the masses and I have the, the enthalpies of everything. So finally, I'm just gonna write my delta H equals zero, or um, in this case right here, we have the sum of MH um, out minus the sum of the M's times the H's in equals zero. So the enthalpy is coming out. Let's see, the enthalpy is coming out, it's gonna be M1 times 
the speed, so this is 2675.4 kilojoules per kilogram. I'm just going to drop some units for the calculation because everything's in kilojoules per kilogram or kilograms per second. Um, so plus we also have water coming out maybe, and this is going to be 1 minus M1, right, because we know M1 plus M2 equals 1 kilograms per second times 417.5 kilojoules per kilogram. Um, minus the sum of that which comes in, and that's going to be 1 times 3149. Um, the sum of this equals 0. So um, I don't really have to go that much further because I can now look at this problem and I can see that in order for this equation to equal 0, the value of this m has to be greater than 1. Um, another way I can know that there's actually not saturated uh, steam and liquid coming out is just by inspection of this problem I can see that both of these enthalpy values are, are less than this enthalpy value so there's no way that if I restrict the total of each one of these to one am I going to be able to have delta H equals zero for this process so what that tells me is that we cannot have saturated steam coming out and instead what is coming out is probably going to be superheated steam but just at a lower temperature All right so i know this equation right here that's not valid and instead i need to find what i need to do instead is because i know delta h equals zero now i know that h out has to be 3149 kilojoules per kilogram and so if i go to the steam tables what i'll see is that value falls at f if i go to the superheated steam tables um, and i look at where pressure equals one bar this value falls between 300 and 350 degrees C. So I can find that just by interpolating the tables. All right, and the way that I interpolate the tables is I need to find the temperature. So the temperature where enthalpy equals 3149 minus 300 degrees C over the range of 350. So these are gonna be the indices from the table equals my enthalpy value, 3149, minus the enthalpy value at 300, which is 3074, over the enthalpy value at 350, which is 3176, minus the enthalpy value at 300. And if I do this, I will find an outlet temperature for this system to be about 337 degrees C. So when I send the superheated steam, as we, uh, as we send it through this valve to drop the pressure, the pressure will drop from 15 bar down to one bar and the temperature will decrease from 350 to about 337 degrees C.